day Davo de Oro, good day TV School of Viewers, especially to all grade 8 students who are watching to us right now. I am your TV presenter, Teacher Steven Shigal Montejo Plaza from Monte Vista National High School, Monte Vista District. We are here, happy to serve you in bringing you with fun and exciting lessons in science grade 8. We hope you had already prepared your pens, record notebooks, and modules. Be sure that you are at your most comfortable seats as we go through our discussion. Now, are you ready for today's lesson? Well, that's good! Before I introduce to you our topic, let us now have a short review of the previous lesson which is about electrical safety measures and devices at home. In your past lesson, you learned about electrical misuse and illegal connections and their examples. You even described electrical hazards or electrical shock which is a condition due to a direct or indirect electrical contact with energy's conductor or equipment and from which a person may sustain electrical injury from shock or damage to property or both. You also learned about the fatal current, faulty electrical wiring, electrical safety devices, and electrical safety measures. The past lesson taught us that if electricity is not properly installed and not properly used could mean injury, harm, or even death. That is our short review of the past lesson. I hope that refreshes your mind about electrical safety measures and devices at home. Now, we are done with the review and we can now proceed to our new lesson. What do you think would be our lesson for today? Hmm. Come, join me and let's discover. Are you ready to know our topic? Great! Today, we will discuss about how do movements along faults generate earthquakes. This is our first topic in quarter 2, lessons about earthquakes and faults. Before exploring and discovering the wonders of our new lesson, let us first look at our objectives for today. Let's say it together! At the end of this session, you will be able to identify the different types of faults, describe the movement that occurs in each type of fault, and lastly, explain how movement along faults generate earthquakes. Are you now ready? Awesome! We will discuss this time how do movements along faults generate earthquakes. But before that, let us first check our knowledge about the earthquakes and faults by answering these pretest questions that you can find on your module on page 2, What I Know. Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. What is a crack or break in the lithosphere that can shift and create an earthquake? Letter A. Epicenter. Letter B. Eruption. Letter C. Fault. Letter D. Focus. Again, what is the crack or break in the lithosphere that can shift and create an earthquake? Letter A. Epicenter. Letter B. Eruption. Letter C. Fault. And letter D. Focus. The correct answer is letter C. Fault. Number 2. What do you call a fault where two blocks of crust pull apart and create space? Letter A. Normal fault. Letter B. Reserve fault. Letter C, strike slip fault, and letter D, 
transform fault. Again, what do you call a fault where two blocks of crust pull apart and create space? Letter A, normal fault. Letter B, reserve fault. Letter C, strike slip fault. And letter D, transform fault. The correct answer is letter A, normal fault. Number three, how will you describe the movement of the walls in a strike slip fault? Letter A, moving sideways. Letter B, pulling the side apart. Letter C, pushing the side together. And letter D, pushing and pulling the sides. Again, how will you describe the movement of the walls in a strike slip fault? Letter A, moving sideways. Letter B, pulling the side apart. Letter C, pushing the side together. And letter D, pushing and pulling the side. The correct answer is letter A, moving sideways. You can answer the rest of the pretest questions at your own pace. Now, if you can recall in your Science 7, it was mentioned that our country, the Philippines, is located at the Pacific Ring of Fire. Did you know that Pacific Ring of Fire is a path along the Pacific Ocean characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes? Hmm, that's why we have a lot of earthquakes. As you can see in the picture, the red line represents the active volcanoes that surrounds the Pacific Ocean. So, people who live along this area, like us, Filipinos, must anticipate the occurrence of earthquakes because it can happen anytime. Strong earthquakes have caused countless of deaths all over the world, even before people have started recording these events. The people who study and record this natural phenomenon is called seismologists. Let us discuss further what is an earthquake. Are you excited? Let us find out the first step in understanding the occurrence of earthquakes. Let's go! An earthquake is brought about by an abrupt slip on a fault that shakes the surface of the earth, resulting from the sudden release of energy in the earth's lithosphere. The energy will eventually release once the fault overcomes the friction movement. Just like the earthquake that we have experienced last January 21 this year, a 7.1 magnitude earthquake was felt by the people of General Santos even here in our province. Earthquakes are unpredictable, but there are things that people can do to avoid or decrease the loss of life and damage to property. Did you get it? Awesome! Since now we know that sleeping of faults are the cause of earthquakes, let us discover more about Faults. When we say faults, these are the thin zones of crushed blocks of rocks. These faults can be in centimeters to kilometers long. Their surfaces can be vertical or horizontal. There are three kinds of faults, namely strike slip fault, normal fault, Reverse fault or thrust fault. First fault is the strike slip faults. These are rocks sliding past on another on a horizontal plane with little to no vertical movement. The movement of this fault can be shown by our hands like this. Got it? Great! Second fault is called the normal fault, in which two blocks of crust layer pulling apart, extending the crust into a valley, thus creating a space. A normal fault has the upper side or hanging wall 
appears to have moved downward with respect to the foot wall. Let's do it with the use of our hands just like this. Again? Got it? Awesome! <laughs> Lastly, we have reversed faults or thrust faults. This fault is a slide one block of crust on top of another. These faults are normally found in the collision zones where tectonic plates push up mountain ranges. Again, let's use our hands to demonstrate the movement of the fault. Again? Wow! Outstanding learners! So, the movements of these three faults generate earthquakes because when rock slip, it will suddenly release energy in waves that make it travel through the rocks to cause the shaking that we feel during an earthquake. Did you get it? Excellent job! To check your understanding about earthquakes and faults, you may answer Activity 2, Describe Me, on page 7. Activity 3, Trace It, on page 8. What I Have Learned, on page 9. And What I Can Do, on pages 9 to 10. Do not forget as well to answer your post-test on pages 10 to 12. Lastly, enjoy yourself in solving the crossword puzzle on page 13. Good job, learners! We are done with the discussion on how do movements along faults generate earthquakes. Let's check if we have achieved our objectives today. We were able to identify the different types of faults, namely strike slip, normal, and reverse. We described the movement that occurs in each type of fault using our hands. Lastly, we were able to explain how movements along faults generate earthquakes. That's all for today, grade 8 learners. We are finally done with our discussion. I hope that you were able to infer knowledge about the concepts on how do movements along faults generate earthquakes. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you in next session through TV-based instruction. Again, I am your teacher, Steven Chigal Montejo Plaza from Monte Vista National High School, Monte Vista District, saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, sa Pag-aaral, Sama-sama! Bye-bye!